Hello, my name is Justin, and I'm one of the principals of CryptoML. In this video, I'm going to talk about how our crypto price predictions work, so how we predict the movement of Bitcoin and Ethereum. On our website, you'll find these over on the member dashboard. You just scroll down here to the price prediction section. So here you see we're doing six and 12 hour predictions. These are ideally suited for day and swing traders. If you're looking for longer term price movement prediction, that is really down here in the market index, which is ideal for investors, people looking at the long term market. And we do have a separate video talking about how that value is derived. But all right, coming back up to our price predictions. So what we have here are values derived entirely from machine learning. And the best way to think about this is in the old days, software engineering, you would hard code any sort of logic. So if I was a trader and I felt like I really understood the markets and I thought, well, when this, this and this happen, the market tends to go up 2%. So I might code all those rules in there and that would that would be codified and we'd have a system that generated these predictions or whatever output we wanted based on these hard rules. With machine learning, we have something very different. What we do is we take a bunch of data and we feed it in, we let this machine, in our case, it's a neural network, chunk through that data, work through it for a while. It basically learns it, it learns the patterns within there, it learns how those predictions might work. And then it spits out a model at the end of the day. And with that model, we now are able to take current inputs, current data, feed that in, and it'll give us a prediction right there on the spot very quickly. So we can talk a little bit about how this works. The data we're talking about feeding in are the factors over here. And what we have are things like exchange data. So if I come over to Binance as an example, we have a lot of information that's going on with the exchange that tends to drive the markets, drive the, drive the movement, maybe predictors. We may see patterns in here that are leading, leading indicators of where price may go. Second up, we have technical. So I'll take a look in trading view here and Within this, you have all sorts of indicators. So these could be moving averages, stochastics, RSI, anything you name it, all that sort of data can be fed in and considered by a machine learning algorithm. We also have social. So this would be our people talking about cryptocurrency a lot. Um, you know, what is the current volume of those discussions? Those factors can be considered and may provide some leading indication of what may happen with price. We also have search, which very similar to social has a sentiment component, but it also has a really important volume component. And this, we talk about it in the market index video, but this may indicate when people are getting greedy, over exuberant, or when they're getting very fearful and you know that's maybe no one's talking about it, losing interest. So those are actually really interesting points from a price prediction standpoint. All right, let me come back here. So these are data points that come in and how you would go about training a model is you would say, right now, price is up. Let's talk about six hour. Price is up 2% from where it was six hours ago. And then these are the values for all these things, all these factors. This is what the exchange looked like. This is what the technical indicators look like. This is what social and search factors look like. And forgot to mention dominance. So we're also interested in how Bitcoin is moving relative to other cryptocurrency. But if we know price went up by 2%, here's what it looked like six hours ago. And we'll take that and we'll repeat that for you know, as fine grained intervals as we want going backward for years. And you can imagine that's a spreadsheet we hand over and you, you can imagine yourself sitting there at a computer, maybe for 10 years straight, staring at all this data. And if you just went through this, you can imagine all the patterns and things you would figure out as a result of doing that. If you just had dedicated study to look at all this data, a machine can chunk through all that data. In our case, neural network takes about 24 hours to do that processing. And at the end, and that's actually going back and it's iterating, it's thinking back through things coming up with connections and patterns. And at the end, we get this model that we can put into production. All right, so let's cover an example of what you might see from a price prediction and what's really going on in the background. If you see a price prediction of Bitcoin going up 1% in the next six hours, as an example, there's really a confidence band going on there. And for our models, um, for the six hour one in particular, we're talking about plus or minus 0.33%. So let's say, if it's supposed to go up 1%, the reality is it might go up somewhere between 0.7% and 1.3%.
and tracking that 93% of the time it does. So it's very accurate. That means our models are predicting the market for the six hour, 93% of the time accurately within this little band. And for our 12 hour, 96% of the time within a very similar band. It's plus or minus 0.35%. We derive these values a few different ways. One is during testing, part of the training, we get some statistical output, but then we're also measuring these in production. So as we're getting predictions, you know, six hours later, we're actually butting that up against the real value that came in. So we predicted up 1% and it came up 1.2%. That's within this band, so we're okay with that. And as long as we're not falling out of this 93% accurate range, so as long as that's not drifting down, we have a good solid produ production model that's meeting you know, meeting the statistical measures that we had in the early training portion. So what is good to know about this is these are very accurate. And in fact, you'll see that in this normal market condition is that's that normal market is tracking whether or not we're on target with our predictions or not. But what's very interesting is when we fall out of this. So there's 7% of the time that these predictions are wrong, or for the 12 hour, there's 4% of the time that the predictions are wrong. And it turns out those times are very interesting. So maybe I can kind of frame this up a different way. Another way of thinking about it is when the market looks like this. So when the exchanges look like this, when the technical indicators look like this, when social search and dominance data, when it looks all like this, 97% of the time the market goes up 2%, let's say. So 97% of the time market goes up 2%, but it doesn't. If it comes down 3% or maybe it comes, it's just totally off base from that plus 2%. If it's moving in a different direction, that's what we call an anomaly. Something is happening. Something is breaking the traditional patterns. And that's actually really when we want to pay attention. So we'll cover this anomaly detection in another video, but that is the key to our CMLA trading strategy. That's looking at these exception times where we're not in the 93%, we're not in the 96%. Something unusual is happening in the market. All right, that is it. Thank you for watching. If you do not yet have access to the price predictions, just head on over to cryptoml.com. You can click on free account right here on the home. It'll take you down and you'll see the price prediction indicators are part of the free account. You also get access to the market index. So just hit join for free. No credit card required. That'll be free for life. It's just a registration. Then you get access to that member dashboard. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.